I look, I look more human with this one. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello, I'm Lydia and I filmed the first half of this video a few days ago when I got this, my new Chewy Jam and I'm quickly going to insert that clip now and then we're going to get on with the video. So this video is sponsored by Chewy Jam. This is the Eternity Egg. It's his best whistle from Pippa. Thank you Pippa. Thank you. I arrived this morning and I left it to film and open. And it's such a nice texture. I like that. It's it's softer than this one, but I feel like it's stronger. That's weird. I like that actually. I also like the fact that they're doing silver strings, like silver strings for the win, please. I have an entire basket of Chewy Gem products. This is going to become my favourite. I can already tell because the texture of it. I'm already going to be like, okay, this is my new going out one. Because <laughs> I keep one with my keys, usually this one, but I've also kind of like destroyed it by biting it. Yeah, um, thank you Chewy Jam for sending this and to anyone who is interested in this product the link will be in the description down below along with links to other products that I have reviewed on this channel. There are loads of videos in my product review playlist which again link down below. Thank you again to Chewy Jam for sponsoring this video. I thought like a longer dinner sponsor of Chewy Jam which you guys know I love Chewy Jam. I work with them so much now and I love that. This box right here, it's huge. I know. Um, this is my crisis box. I have this box for when I go, that is not the lighting I wanted. I made this box up a while ago. I've done numerous videos on this subject where I showed you what's in my box and blah blah blah. The last time I showed you the box was when I was going through a very unstable period where I was in and out of hospital and in the boxes I had stuff that I'd need if I was to go into an admission. Now obviously in the last few months a lot has changed and um, I'm doing a lot better than I was and I thought I'd give you an updated video on what's in this and why I have this and why I have the items I have. Before I do that I want to quickly say that having a designated box that you have for your own coping skills and your own yourself it is personal no one else knows what helped you you know yourself better than anybody and this box for me is something that i do use a lot like if i'm having anxiety if i'm like getting triggered and i feel like i'm gonna start having flashbacks i can go to this box and feel relaxed comforted and if need be i have some medication in this box that i can take to calm me down. So with that in mind, let's get on with this video and get into the box. People have these boxes for any reasons. They're called crisis boxes, self-care boxes, self-soothe boxes, etc. They are notoriously used and there are so many videos on YouTube about if you type in mental health box onto the search panel you'll see a load of videos. Personally I use this more for my anxiety and flashbacks. That's what my main issue is and that the symptoms that I have the most. So I chose to get a Peter Rabbit box because I literally love Peter Rabbit and so does my little sister. So the first thing that is on top because it's so big is this a blanket. Um, Becca actually got me this and it's it's a kid's one but I got it because it's soft and it makes me feel safe and I like it. I like unicorns though. Unicorns are my thing and especially now that I'm uh, not working. Um, I'm very happy that I have this box because I get stressed and my big way of coping with stress was, while I was working anyway, was to spend money on books and all sorts and just do anything I could to distract. Um, so I am actually glad that I built this box up or I stopped working. And that's a whole video in itself. Um, I did briefly talk about that in my other video yesterday. This video, however, is not about that. But this is my blanket. It is a kid's one that's soft. I find it comforting and it does help me. Like feeling intense emotions, I can just cuddle up to it and it's soft and comforting and it reminds me of all the little cuddles that me and my sister used to have all the time when I went home. Most of you guys know that at this current moment in time, I'm actually not in contact with the majority of my family. I, I don't get to talk to my little sister very often anymore. This year that's come about. Um, that is quite hard to deal with, like, because I am close to her and I was helping. The next thing I want to show is these cards, which are called Cards Against Anxiety. I got these from the works. There are lots of things like this on Etsy as well. And I'm also currently 
in the middle of creating a little card set with coping skills for PTSD, flashbacks and anxiety on. They will be up on my Etsy store. While I'm talking about Etsy, I also do a monthly mental health self-care box where I have tutorials, sensory things and different bits put into these boxes. It helps other people but is there to be there and it's a nice little thing to get in the mail and I love doing it and I wouldn't do it if I didn't like doing it because honestly I don't make any money from it like that's not why I do it but the cost of it covers the shipping and the other half of the money I donate to a charity um currently I am working with the eating disorder charity called Beat who I have done a 12 hour live stream for before and it nearly killed me um I do a lot of work with them and I have done for a few years charity which is certainly something and yes so these are little anxiety tips and relaxation techniques and we love these um it's got a book in it and then it's got the cards which are very small they're actually made so you can carry them out they have different coping skills i would recommend these to literally anyone whether you have an anxiety disorder or whether you just need something to cope i would highly recommend looking into it and things like this and while we're on the subject of cards i do have which has got all these different emotions because sometimes when i'm experiencing intense emotions i can't actually verbalize how i feel and with this i i can i can like they're being kids and they may flirt and disbelieve um like obviously some of them i don't use like the hungry thirsty cold hot ones i don't use but the emotion side of it i do and i have this in my box but i also took this off my keys earlier I have this which has cards on too. I have taken off the ones that aren't really relevant. So like the food ones and the temperature ones. I just have emotions on here. I literally touch my keys because <laughs> I wear a lanyard with my keys on. But that's just something little that I thought I'd share in this as well. I feel like stuff like this is not really understood by people and I think it's an incredible coping skill actually. And I will link these in the description down below. Moving on, I have some photos. Some are loose and some are in photo albums. So I've got a picture of me and Becca. Becca is my girlfriend who sits at the door and she's in the room next door. I'm gonna watch Casualty in 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> I have this photo album that Lou got me. Where's Wally thing, but with a unicorn. There were. I have that. I did say I like unicorns at the beginning of the show. Oh, then I've got like pens and stuff. The only significant one, mine is my unicorn horn one, which is favourite. I have a red pen and let me talk about so I'm someone who do, does struggle with self-harm and I've been clean since my last admission and I have a red pen in here because red, as you guys probably heard this before, people use it to mark on themselves like where they have self-harm and rather than self-harming you draw it on and it acts as kind of a coping skill. So I share that one, that's one that's helped me out more times than I care to mention. I have a lot of like soft toys in here because I find them comforting. Kinnacorns, obsessed. Um, another thing in here that's like important for me is this. It's a bell in it and I find them a little, I find them positive trigger. I have a notebook that says everything's going to be okay. I always put new notebooks in here so I can write whatever I'm feeling down and reflect on it later. I do always switch the notebook out though because I never want to have something in that box that is going to trigger me. And obviously when I'm using that I'm good so I do have to switch out the notebook quite a lot. Um, they're good to reflect on when you're in the right frame of mind. Also irrelevant but dyslexia aid. Um, moving on, I have a colouring book. Again, unicorn and metallic crayons. I do have some normal crayons in here. I have a lot of stuff in this box, believe me. So we've got the colour therapy ones. These are colour therapy pencils. Colouring books, helpful. Doing, doing one of them when I stress, incredibly helpful. I have a lot of colouring books as well. I do change it. So moving a bit on, um, I have face masks. I have all different ones because they're the kind that I just find them relaxing. I always have. I keep them in there because they are like a relaxation technique. Random as fuck, but I do also have sample. I put like hair sample things in here. So like I've got a shampoo thing here, but it's just a little bit of self care, you know? And you don't want like bottles of stuff in the box because it weighs a ton anyway. But I it's just like washing hair and general self care things that you don't think about but matter as someone who does struggle with motivation especially when it comes to actually having stuff like that does really help um i do have this which is a yankee candle lavender freshener and it might sound a bit weird to have no freshener in here but it makes the box smell of lavender and i i, I like the sound of them i love the feeling of the walls in there as well if i'm tired i have 
have this, which I love my, my face mask. So now, pencil base. Now this isn't stationary in here, this is important stuff. So I have tissues if I'm crying. I have clonazepam and 225 milligram of quintiopian. And I also have an inhaler in here because if I'm hyperventilating, I'm having a panic attack or struggling to breathe, I can choose my inhaler, which is why it's that head spare one. I just keep it in this box. I just have one that I'm using. And then I've got my other spare one in my medication box. But that I have this face moisturizer, which again, small, little, and helpful. These are just little self-care things that people often forget about. And then we have a Charlie pink spray. It speaks for itself, it is what it is. Then we have my lavender scent things, and lavender is something that I re use and rely on hardcore. Now it's more photos, and these are me and my sister. No, they're not. These are memories. So, like I said, me and Emma Blackberry, which was like amazing. Me and a mental health YouTuber who doesn't post anymore called Laura Lision. When I went to Newcastle, and she walked me to my to the hotel that I was staying in. Again, amazing experience. 2016, that was a long time ago now. So I have them. Again, positive, positive memories. Oh God, I've got so much stuff this morning. Got this over. So I also have these Unicorn bath melts, which I actually got sent last year and I have not used, but I have these. So now we live in a flat, we have a bath and I can relax. So I've had recently showers and student hall problems. So that I have an ensuite and a kitchen in my flat. I don't want to know about. Um, I have these, they're just little bath melts. Again, I then, this might seem a bit stupid. I have a can of Coke and I have some chocolate buttons. Small things. Um, the caffeine's more, when I'm struggling, I don't want to go and show open the kitchen door that does my head in to get a drink. So I do keep a can of coke and some cheap ass buttons that I got from Aldi. And <laughs> um, then I have these little eye coolers again, relaxation. You, I have a reusable ice cube in here, which again is another thing for self self harm. What we do is we freeze them, and then if you need to self feel like you're going to need self harm, you can put it on your wrist, and it gives you a burning sensation. It causes temporary pain, but leaves no actual harm. It is just a safe way of managing things. And then for when I'm pissed and when I'm annoyed, oh, I have my button. <laughs> I have Tangle Toys. I've got loads of these. I literally have them everywhere. I, I, I like the textured ones best. And this is one that I found quite cute. It has a little kitty on it. But I have, I've got loads of these. Tangles are everywhere in this flat, honestly. I, I have a bouncy ball. Might well, seem stupid, but I can throw it at the wall rather than punching it. Throwing a ball at the wall is definitely less damaging than punching it. Especially with arthritis. I wouldn't advise it. I have a puzzle cube. Thing cube. It's not a cube. It's a puzzle ball and you literally just mix these up. And then when you need to... Like, it's a puzzle. You, you, you get the idea. It's like a Rupert's cube, but a ball. And I've got another ball to turn lights off. I like sensory stimulating things. So, uh, I have a little probably monster I can write down what I'm thinking and feeling and I do do this and you can open them up put them in and reflect later on again I've used this quite a lot I literally love it then I have candles speak for themselves they're relaxing I find them relaxing especially this blackberry one and this one these are my favorite. um then I have this which is something that my 15 year old sister got me quite a while back. It's my star sign. And you know, I've got a little stone that my other sister got me. My birth stone. And I have my Pandora bracelet in here that basically with this, um, everything on here has been a gift from someone in my family. Like, the significance of this Pandora bracelet is more than just a bracelet. Like, I've never bought a bead on here these are all ones that I've had bought for me so my 21st birthday and then I got the bracelet and the other ones on my 16th birthday and then this little jar is a Sagittarius one so it's my star sign because anyone who doesn't know my birthday is in December uh, end of the year you know I have my reusable straw just like a reusable straw you know especially if you meet I can't deal with 
again I've got a sketchbook in here I like drawing and I don't share what I draw one it's shit two it's graphic usually and it's not made for the internet it's for myself I have a squishy cat I've had that for ages my little sister follow me again and I have all these I call these they are easily my favourite thing to play with I've got another little fidget I, I've shown this a lot it's really subtle I have one of these in my uni bag and I have one in my box I like fiddling with stuff so having this is definitely definitely a help moving on I have this it's another puzzle thing very simple I don't think I need to explain a lot of these things to keep me busy when I'm, I'm spiraling or if I need a distraction and if I want to be able to reflect on things and how I want to document what's going on I have a little shitty camera that was about £12 that I got like five years ago and I just keep that in there it's not great quality but if I want to reflect or see how I am and if I want to record I just do it on this nothing dramatic tiny cable so not a hazard and not a risk I then have my little sand animals. I do have a weighted blanket in pretty much every room in here, but I use the, I like these because I like the texture, they're weighted and I find them. I have, again, this is another distraction thing. I have an aqua beads thing. This is only the second one I've actually put in here. I just have it in here because it's a nice, simple, cheap distraction. Moving on, again. Why do I have two fidget cubes in there? Cubes, I have, again, these are all over the flat. Um. I have my little mini stitch. I actually, these came today in the mail and it made me really happy. I have stitch clearance. I just put them on my keys. I have just a, another pen, it's a unicorn one. I have a, a flashy unicorn that I love. It's literally my favorite thing ever. Like it's. Um, I do have a fidget spinner. I know, stereotypes. They're helpful. Then I have a quote at the bottom that says, live, laugh, love. And then the last thing in this box that I actually have are these friendship cards that if I open, oh, it's not on there, it's on the back, sorry. Okay, so these are from Lou. Um, again, I mentioned her earlier on. And these are little cards with quotes and positivity and I absolutely love them. I've read these countless times. So that is what's in my box. So hand over to pass me while I've got your attention before I do if you haven't checked out my Etsy store I do monthly boxes I do other things on there every little thing Just like I said I don't really make any money on there that's not why I do it I do it to help other people that's literally my only motivation um if you do subscribe and if you want to know more about me and get to know me on a bit more of a personal level head over to my Twitter which may or may not be private at the time of this upload. Um, uh, that's a debate that I'm having with myself at the minute. So yeah, I'm gonna hand you over to pass me. Peace, for now, bye.